Hey guys, we traveled down from New York today to go to Philly. So if you know Philly, you know that Reading Terminal Market is the place to go to to try a variety of foods. So let's go try it out. It's already pretty crowded and it's 9 a.m. So definitely get here early if you do come here. If you come early, it's not as bad, but I heard it gets very crowded later in the day. We got our donuts. We're going to try it now. Right, so we got vanilla sprinkle on the top left. Then we have Oreo cream, glazed cream, the PB&J, banana cream, and sour cream. A lot of creams. You can see them making the donuts fresh in front of you. And I think because so many people buy their donuts, they're constantly making new ones. So it's really nice to see the donuts being made in front of you and then getting to choose the flavor of your choice. And they really have a variety of flavors too. The very interesting thing is that they're not perfect circles. These are ovals. Some of them look like chicken nuggets, but yeah. I think that just goes to show that they're homemade essentially. Well, you know how they taste. Wait, is it fluffy? Yeah, it's very Please. fluffy. I like my donuts like way more airy than cakey, so this one's definitely airy. What do you think? The frosting tastes different. It tastes more natural. It doesn't taste like artificial like most other frosting. This is glazed cream. It looks like a marshmallow fluff. Ooh, okay. Mm, oh, wow. It's like a glazed donut, but with marshmallow fluff. I like it. So Cal is trying the duck wrap. Apparently it's the best one. What's in it? Duck skin, duck meat, some scallions. The regular. Was it the best you've ever had? Not in my opinion. No. Yeah. It's pretty good though. Wait, what was your rate out of 10? Seven. What's the best one you've ever had? Nine out of 10. Oh, okay. I like the skin to Christy. meat ra ratio. This oh. one doesn't have that. Too much meat, too little skin. Oh, there's too much meat? Yeah. That's, that's like the a, first time I've heard anyone complain about that. For you. I like it more crispy, and I, I prefer a bun over the wrap. The seating here is pretty crowded already. It's only 10.30, and it's pretty much filled up. If you want to get a seat, be sure to come early. And there's a lot of standing areas around. We just got the hot dog rolls from Miller's Twist. Breakfast, turkey, sausage, egg and cheese. And they got the- A beef all cheese beef. dog. So this is the one place that we were actually really excited to try because they're one of the few places that use turkey and chicken sausage. They pretty much make it right here. As you can see, they're like rolling out all the dough, putting the hot dogs in. The cool thing is also, they give like a lot of the condiments for free. So stone ground mustard, free. The pretzel is the best part of this. Slight crisp to it, some salt along the edges, but it's like soft on the inside and the outside's kind of crunchy. See, they got like the burnt markings around it. It's not too greasy, which I like, but the inside is like super buttery. So it's not even really like a pretzel. It's more like a croissant in a way. So we picked up some fried pierogies from Frank's. What are fried pierogies? Almost like dumplings, but with like cheesy potato filling. And we also got a side of sour cream for yeah. a little bit extra, which I think is really worth it. So um, it's two for $3 and the sour cream is 50 cents. I'm gonna try the fried pierogi with sour cream. It tastes like mashed potatoes in fried dough, which is exactly what it is. Yeah, it's usually, it's not fried, but it's submerged in olive oil. I prefer it's wet pierogies. Yeah. So at the beginning of Reading Terminal Market, there's actually a smoothie juice place that there's a huge line for. I managed to get snag a ginger peach iced tea. So this is pretty much like freshly made. It says fresh pressed, raw, unpasteurized. Comes in like this, I think it's a quarter gallon. It smells like ginger and peach essentially. Wow. This is one of the most refreshing things you will have in your life. A lot of ginger flavor, it kind of has like that spicy taste almost in the back of your throat, but then you get that nice sweetness from the peach. Not too sweet, not too spicy. It's like the perfect drink for today. Ooh! Peachy iced tea and a slight ginger aftertaste. 
But it's, if you're not a fan of ginger, don't worry. This one I think you'll still like. Definitely visit this store for a nice cool drink. Right now it's about 11, 11.30 and it's super crazy crowded. I think it's the lunch rush. We're looking for nice lobster rolls. We were looking for a turkey or chicken cheesesteak, but they don't have that here. So instead we're gonna be getting the lobster roll and seeing that the hidden sandwich here, especially yeah. since it's like springtime, summertime. Maybe it'll be better than Chelsea yeah. Market. And we're actually here right now at Umi Sifu. Right now we're waiting for our lobster roll. They said it'd be about five minutes. Cool thing is, it's actually a special, so I don't think it's normally on the menu. This is actually a Japanese food vendor that sells lobster rolls. So oh, really thank you. 23 bucks also. I like the addition of chives to it. There's lettuce, there's a lot of mayo, as you can see, it's like dripping. Toasted bun honestly makes it for me. Cause that's like the hidden component of lobster rolls. It's not the lobster, it's the bun. And this bun is actually really good. Cheers. I think they put some cucumbers or pickles in there, which I really like. Oh no, actually, I think it's celery. And then the bun itself is nice and soft. I honestly think it's a lot better than what I was expecting. So I would definitely get this again if you're at Reading Terminal and you don't want a cheesecake. It tastes like a salad, right? Yeah. Like a lobster salad. A chicken salad, lobster salad. You know what, I think for a summer day, I think this is a good sandwich. So that's the raspberry truffle, and what is this? Peach and pistachio. Peach and pistachio. Ooh. So it's six dollars for a double scoop, was it? Yeah. Bassett's ice cream. How is it? Super creamy. There's some chocolate in here, vanilla, raspberry flavor. I think they put raspberry jam in here too. It's good. I like the tart flavor of the raspberry. It's a little bit citrusy. <laughs> it's like uh, tangy. Uh, That's what it is. It's very crowded right now, so we're just trying to find a place to finish up our ice cream. Oh, we got some ice cream there. There's a whole bunch of food here to try. I think some of our favorites were Miller's Twist. Definitely check that place out. I think that was the best savory item we tried today. But in terms of sweet, I think this ice cream was the best. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys check out Reading Terminal. Let us know down in the comments below if you do. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I'm basically yeah. a macho outfit. Actually, even I'm matching with it. Wait, wait, even Eric is. Yeah, we're all matching green today. Uh -huh. Cheers.